Okay, well, you wanted a response from me, but you turned your stitches off, so... What we're discussing is the effectiveness of cursive writing in public schools, and whether it is, in any way, not a waste of time. So you cited this, which is a study done by Frontiers in Psychology magazine, in an article in study riddled with spelling errors, but, you know, that doesn't really inspire confidence, but let's click that link. So, blah blah blah, neuroscience jargon. Due to contradictory results, it's been hard to achieve an explicit agreement whether the technology serves to help or hinder student performance. Therefore, it is essential to further investigate the long-term implications of learning and how the process of cursive writing, typewriting, and drawing are related. By the way, in this poorly done study, it's conflating drawing, handwriting, and printing as all one thing. Studies of cortical oscillations have become a fundamental aspect of modern systems of neuroscience, yet there are still conflicting definitions regarding the type of rhythms and their cognitive usefulness. In general, brain oscillations are interactions between the thalamus and the cortex and can be viewed as generated by changes in one or more parameters that control oscillations and neuronal networks. Anywho, I'm not denying that cursive writing can be good for the brain. But it is still a waste of resources. Plenty of other things we could spend that money on. Ontario bringing it back to public schools, I would much rather them, you know, provide home ec courses. Teach people how to do their taxes. Teach financial literacy. Comprehensive sex ed, because most men have absolutely no idea how the female anatomy works. They think the left lip is the clitoris. Basic civics, because so many people have no idea how our system of government works, our parliamentary first-past-the-post system. The vast majority of people, especially after high school, very rarely do any form of writing. And if they do, it's printing. Cursive writing is a complete waste of time. Our resources could be put to better use. Things that have much more positive impacts on a student's learning. You know, like having a good counselor. Since the vast majority of the country is dealing with mental health problems. You know, music, art. Things that actually provide value to society. Not scribbly lines on paper that serve absolutely no value. I don't care what anybody says. Cursive writing in schools is a complete fucking waste of time. But older people are attached to it needlessly so for some freaking reason. That's why my teachers put my left hand in an oven mitt, duct taped it to the desk, and would strike me with a ruler when I wouldn't do it. Like, just admit it. The only reason you want cursive is because you learned cursive. In today's modern society, it serves absolutely no fucking function whatsoever. And there are plenty of things that are far better for their brain. But even in the study you provided, it says it's inconclusive. 